found it pretty uh, intrusive and kind of creepy. High flying drama in Sacramento's Land Park neighborhood tonight as residents are furious over a flying object. The mysterious drone has been spotted during late night hours looking down on their homes. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. Only on CBS 13, we're getting answers on what government agency is flying the aircraft and why. The drone would fly over here. John Maddox first spotted the mysterious drone about a month ago. It'd come home from work, uh, it would be operating, go to bed, it was still operating, and this would repeat day after day. His neighbors in Sacramento's Upper Land Park neighborhood wondered what it was doing. It just doesn't feel good. I, it, you know, it kind of hovers around, you don't know what they're looking at. It flew over our house until 3 o'clock in the morning, like two or three nights in a row. You were walking at night or whatever, and all of a sudden it's like... Mm and it like hovers. Then, just this week, they learned it's being flown by the Sacramento Housing and Redevelopment Agency. SHRA is doing the drones? We, we, why, why? What's the, project, what's the logic? The agency manages two nearby public housing communities. The complexes have seen serious crimes in the past, including a fatal shooting in January and a triple homicide in 2016. We initiated the drone program in order to try to enhance the safety and security for our residents. Housing Authority officials say the five-foot-long aircraft operates between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., and it has already spotted illegal dumping and trespassing. Pilots have established a protocol to protect privacy. The drones are programmed so that they do not catch any footage until they get to about 200 feet in the air. The housing authority says the program is legal, but some neighbors have doubts. We feel our privacy is being invaded. And opponents say this type of surveillance technology doesn't belong in a residential setting. This is not an appropriate way to police the community. Now, the drone is part of a 90-day pilot project, which, co which costs about $20,000, and opponents are asking the city council to intervene and cancel the program.